It is a huge night for the Wake Forest baseball team. They are playing for a chance to advance to the College World Series championship round. The Demon Deacon faithful are ready to cheer on their team. WFM News 2's Jalen Gilkey talked to a fan who made the trip to Omaha and a local brewery hosting a watch party tonight. Yeah, Chad, for fans that love college baseball, just having the opportunity to make it to Omaha for the College World Series is a dream come true. But when your school is one of the final four teams left fighting for a national title, it's truly a dream come true. And not only did Sam Schweitzer get the chance to live his dream with his best friends, but his mom got to tag along as well. I got to say thank you to my mom. Um, she and I, ever since I was in elementary school, talked about getting out to Omaha. Um, I grew up playing baseball. She grew up watching. And we never really cared who it was going to be. We figured, oh, we'd go see Vanderbilt, we'd see Florida, we'd see whoever's always out there. And suddenly, it's it's our own team that, that's there. So Sam, his three buddies from college, and his mom all hopped on a plane to Omaha to see Wake take on Stanford in game number one. So I talked to her, and she was like, if you want to go with your friends and have fun with them, go do that. And I was just like, no, this is something we have to do together. So we flew out Friday night. Um, woke up Saturday morning, went straight to the Wake Forest tailgate, went over to Rocco's and bought some jello shots to support the team, uh, made our way back to the stadium and flew back the next day. And back here in the tryout out in Winston-Salem, a Demon Deaker favorite has been hosting watch parties for all the fans who weren't as lucky to Sam to get out to Omaha. Well, we're just fans ourselves, so, uh, you know, we love watching them and we love hosting people here to to watch any kind of sports. Yeah, I mean, we've been busy for the past two games, so it's been a great atmosphere, um, just as lively as couch. So it's, uh, it's been electric. And with the win tonight, Wake looks to beat LSU for the second time in three mm. days in advance to this weekend's championship series. First pitch is set for 7 p.m. How awesome is that? I'm so glad they were able to have some fans from our area actually go out to Omaha. Because it's one thing to have people who are fans, but to have people from your home team, from your base, to go out there and support you. Got to be a good feeling. Got to be. I mean, I spoke mm. to another family that had some representatives go out there. He was a former alum. I don't know if you guys remember. That was last week. I spoke okay. with him. Mm -hmm. so it's, just, it's great to hear people from all over our area being able to get out to support the Deeks, whether they be alumni or just lifelong fans. Yeah. So w Wake got a little break, right, because they won the mm -hmm. other night, so that which has got to help the team. I mean, it does. So they're still in the in the winners bracket. So mm -hmm. they technically only have to make win three games to get to the championship series. Now, if they lose tonight, then there will be another game tomorrow between them and LSU again. And the winner would advance to this weekend. But if so they win tonight, they win tonight. They're in. That's oh, good that's to go. awesome. I, I, I'm nervous for tonight because yeah. LSU, I mean, they are out for blood. I mean, look That's what they good. did to them two days ago. They're they're coming back. Oh, yeah, it should be another great game. Two great pitching staffs, two great teams. The two only teams that were ranked at number one throughout this entire college baseball season. Wow. Started the season, it was LSU, and then it was handed over to Wake. And then after that, it's been Wake number one the rest of the way. So these are clearly the best two teams still left in it. And we just can't wait to see what happens tonight. Have we checked back in with the alum who was on the national winning team like 50 years yeah, ago? So, I want to hear from what he has to think about all this. Yeah, so I would love to reach back out to uh, Mr. Bob Coons and uh -huh. just check in with him just to see how things have been going. He actually got featured on ESPN during oh, the game. Oh, that's uh, awesome. During the game, I do believe it was against Stanford. Okay. It was a home run hit, and he was doing an interview, live interview. It was a great time. So uh, his grandson is supposed to be Zach. He's supposed to be trying to make it out if they win tonight. So it's going to be a family affair. Yeah, Just we got to get their reaction. Everywhere. That's really cool. All right, great, great story, Jalen. Thank you.